Hello and welcome to the Josh97 HD channel. Today we have the channel legend, the prime icon version of this channel legend, and it is obviously the 91 rated Welsh legend Ian Rush, Liverpool goal scoring machine. And we've got him to review for you guys today. So if you do enjoy the video today, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews and a lot more FIFA content coming your way. So anyway, let's get on into the rush review. Now, he's got three star skills, four star weak foot. Not too bad. I mean, the skill moves could be better, but he's got the main one of the four star weak foot. I'm even work rate, five foot 11. And he's going for about 500,000 coins on the Xbox right now. And he's got some pretty damn insane, insane attributes in some key areas. So, his pace is decent, decent. 84 acceleration could be a bit higher and 88 sprint speed. His shooting category is bloody stacked. 93 attack positioning, 94 finishing, 88 shot power, 90 long shots, 93 volleys and 88 penalties. His passing's a bit crap, lads. Not gonna lie. 78 passing's okay. 77 vision and 78 curve, but the rest is crap. Does he have finesse shot? He has finesse shot anyway, so his, his curve's not going to be a problem because the finesse shot trait gives him 99 curve when they are shooting. It's just when passing, they don't have the curve. But he's got 55 long pass, which is terrible. 70 free kicks and 67 crossing, which is also terrible. Now, his dribbling category doesn't actually look that bad. Two of the main stats, though, are quite low considering he's a prime icon. 80 agility and 79 balance, but the rest are pretty damn beastly, aren't they? 91 reactions, 89 ball control, 85 dribbling and 92 composure. He can win a header as well with 92 head and accuracy and 86 jumping. 84 stamina is pretty decent for a striker. 82 strength as well and 74 aggression. So he might be quite strong on the ball. Now he has finesse shot, power header, outside the foot shot and trip shot traits. And there is his icon profile for, for you. Obviously this was going to be for his time at Liverpool. He was sensational and he's a bit of a channel legend. I'm going to go on it yet again because it's still a big highlight of my small YouTube career so far. He's posted a video on his Instagram account of my review last year on FIFA 19 for him. We might do something again. I have been speaking to his agent, so we might do something again for his Instagram account. So who knows? Maybe keep your eyes out for that. So I was made up when that happened for me. I'm a Liverpool fan myself. He's a Liverpool legend, and yeah, we managed to have that little claim to fame, didn't we, on the channel. But anyway, we've got his review today. This team I'm going to play him in. I'm going to play him as a striker, central striker, in a 4-2-3-1 formation. And hopefully we can bang some goals in with him. And hopefully he's going to be a beast and live up to his channel legend status. So... Let's get on into the games and see if Rush is worth the 500k price tag at the moment. So here we go against the first team. He has got two icons. He also has a red Mane and red Carrasco and he has the beast of Jao Felix. He's unreal, unreal on this game. And he's got a pretty solid defence. Obviously he's going to swap some air though and pee all, isn't he, in game. But he's got the danger man Robin as well. But we should win this one. And Ian Rush is going to score 50 goals, isn't he? Nice one-two player with Robin. Can we find him? We get him in. We dink it. Oh, my God. How's that gone in? But he scored one. One goal in the first game within seven minutes. Nice little tidy finish with his left foot. Chip shot over the goalkeeper. So, he can score on his weak foot, lads. Great goal. Again, nice run from him. We get him behind. Oh, he just can't get it in the back of the net this time. Got a throw in high up the pitch here. Can we get it to Robin? No, but we get it into Rush. We cut back. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. He turns Van Dijk. Oh, we're not gonna we're gonna find a way through. He gets a shot off, but Van Dijk gets in the way. Lovely stuff. Oh, he just can't get through. But considering his agility and balance are quite low, he was quick to turn then and he stayed on his feet as well. Can he get past Piol? He cuts in. He cuts in, but Piol gets a leg in. So, decent first half performance from Ian Rush. He got himself a goal. And 
he got a couple of other shots off, but nothing major after that first goal, to be honest. It's been a hard one, to be fair, because he has got Peel and Van Dijk at centre-back, so it's a good test for him, but he's already showed that he can score on his weak foot. So, first half performance, not bad at all. Don't know why he's out on the wing here, but he is. Can we get we get past Peel? Have a dig, have a dig. Oh, I should have, I should have finesse shot it there. Don't know why I didn't. Can we feed him? Yes, we can. Brilliant ball, chip goal. Come on, his second left footed chip of the game, and what a goal that was! Absolutely perfect, perfectly timed pass from Robin. And a perfect finish from Ian Rush. Two goals so far in his first game. Oh, lovely play. Can we play him through? He's in. He's in. Come on. Van Dijk's catching him up, though. Well, hit it with the left foot. He gets a block in. But he's still got it. Can we get it in? Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Very unlucky from Rush there. Nearly got his hat trick. Oh, we nearly got him right at the end there. We do lose the first game, but Rush comes out with two goals. And I mean, two goals against two really good centre-backs. Peel, Icon, the right-back version, moved to centre-back. He's got decent pace as well, 76, and Van Dyke. So, not a bad first game performance from Ian Rush. Picks up two goals and two lovely left-footed chips they were as well. So, he's proved that he is the finisher. He is a finisher. That's what he is on this game. He can finish his dinner, and he just proved that in this first game. But we go on to the second, and let's go on and find out some more things about this Ian Rush Prime Icon card. So, into match number two, and bloody hell. You're not giving me easy, eh? I mean, I am in Div 2 now, and I'm definitely not a Div 2 player. So we're getting up against teams like this. Zidane, Neymar... Hernandez, he's playing, oh well, he's obviously going to swap Maldini and Mendy in game, isn't he? And put Maldini at centre-back. Going to be a hard one yet again for Ian Rush, but come on, prove to me why you are the channel god. Come on, nice turn. Oh, it's over the bar. Un come on, Ian Rush, it's got to be, it's got to be, he's missed. How's he missed that? It didn't even get it on target. That was poor for me and very, very poor. Great ball. Come on. Now it's time. Now it's time. There you go. Ian Rush on the score sheet in the second game. Of course he is. He's had a few chances that he's missed, but this one, it was going in the back of the net. Great goal. And this was a right footed one this time. So. First half over, one goal from Ian, and he got a penalty, very lucky penalty, and put it away, obviously, and that's why we won all. But decent performance from him. Um, I would, one thing I'm noticing is his acceleration of 84. It ain't good. He does feel a bit sluggish to get off the off the mark, and when you come up against Joe Gomez, is like I am in this game. He is suffering a bit. He really is. Can he have the pace here? Can he have the pace? No, he can't get past him. And that's what I mean. His acceleration is a bit poor, lads. It's a bit poor. He can't get past the likes of that centre-back from Sevilla. I have no idea what his name is, but I know he's got like 80-odd pace. And now we're going to concede the goal. Fucking Neymar. Typical. Absolutely typical. Ian loses the ball, and we go and bloody concede the goal. Nice ball from Ian. Nice ball from Ian indeed. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. The defender sticks his leg out, but Ian keeps on going. His aggression there to get the ball back, but we lose it, finally. Has he got the pace here? He has. Can he get a volley? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He redeems himself. What a goal from Ian. What a volley. Perfect first-time volley. Absolute belting goal, and that is why he is a finisher. I was an out finisher on this game. Nice burst of acceleration there. Cuts in. Come on, come on. It's got to be. Brilliant finish. Brilliant finish for his hat trick in the second game. Absolute brilliant. He showed his acceleration there. I've been moaning about it most of the review, but he did show it there. 
And it was a nice cut inside and a lovely right-footed finish. So, second game in a row, we end up bloody losing, but Ian Rush shows why he's brilliant. He got a hat-trick in this game. He doesn't pick up the match ball because Neymar also got a hat-trick, but this guy's team was insane and he was pretty damn good as well. I mean, he had Zidane, he had Neymar, he had Icon Hernandez. His team was pretty damn ridiculous, but the man there himself, Ian Rush, did fantastic. Got himself a hat-trick. We just couldn't clinch the win, but... It's all about rushing this review, and so far, five goals in two games, that's nothing to grumble about at all, is it? So, here we go, into match number three, and again, when am I going to get a break? Another really, really good team, Neymar. Oh, he's got that wan Saka freeze card that just looks overpriced for me, but he's gone and done it. Solid team, it's going to be a hard one yet again, but, I mean, this is obviously easier team to beat than the last one. Nice cut inside, come on, it's got to be, and it is. Absolutely brilliant goal yet again from big Ian Rush himself. Great finish, absolute smackaroonie into those top bins. Lovely turn, lovely strength. Oh, but the finish, he couldn't find it. Come on, we found him, and obviously, when he's in those kind of positions, he's going to score the goal. Absolute great positioning from Ian Rush. His second of the day, yet again, in match number three, and he was in the right place at the right time. We find him out on the wing. Oh, come on, ref, you dirty, dirty man. Let's take it with Ian. And it's for finish. Of course, it's a finish. He wins the penalty and he puts it in the back of the net for his hat trick. Great goal. So, into the second half we go. And first half, we were 2 0 down. And the man himself, Ian Rush, comes back, gets us a hat trick. And we are now 1 0 in front. So, now 3 2 going into the second half. Let's go. Now, I get down. Come on, Ian. <laughs> I was cheeky. I tried to get it to him, and he wins the header against Bobby Charlton, is it? What a great, great header that was. I mean, obviously, I, I hoped he'd score. I knew he'd score. He had to score from there. Great goal from Ian, and he's four for this one. We don't get the first attempt off. We've still got it, though, but Rashford's offside. Oh, he's got it. He's only gone and won it. Oh, lovely flick. <laughs> Turn inside, left foot. See, and that's where, obviously, his weak foot isn't five-star. He doesn't have the same amount of power in his shots, and he doesn't have the same amount of finesse in his shots. Outside the box, though. Oh, Bobby gets a friggin' leg in. So, the third and final game of the player review, and Ian Rush is going to pick up the match ball. Four goals he scored in this one, and four pretty nice goals they were as well. Great, great performance from him. Now, let's get into the overall summary, and let's see what I do think of this prime icon, Ian Rush card, the channel legend. I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to tell you my honest opinions of him right now. So... Prime icon, Ian Rush. What do I think? Now, I've got to be honest, he didn't live up to the hype that I hyped him up to be. Even though he's a channel legend, his card wasn't the greatest card on the planet. And we all knew that coming into this review anyway. We just wanted to know, is he usable? And yes, he is definitely usable on this game. His pace and his finishing, definitely, definitely usable. Now, I do have some cons with him. Obviously, three-star skill moves isn't the best. But one thing you did notice, lads, is acceleration and how quick he did the skill moves that he could actually do. Um, was really, really good, to be honest. It was really, really good. As you've seen, a couple of 
fake shots, cut inside, stuff like that, the stuff that he can do. He does the skill moves very quickly and comes out of them very quickly. Now, four star weak foot, brilliant. He did score me some fabulous goals on his weak foot. Now, I've got a couple of cons with the card. His acceleration, seven out of ten times, you come up against a centre back. He's not going to be able to get past him, lads. You, you've seen it in the clips. He did struggle on one-on-ones, to be honest, when he came up against the likes of Gomez, which everyone seems to have, so that's definitely a con. And the likes of Varane and players like that. So the faster defenders are definitely, definitely going to catch him before he can get away. But I've got to say, once he's in behind, once he's up to that sprint speed, he did feel quite fast. His shooting, obviously, I've got no, no cons at all with his shooting. What did he end up with? Did he end up with... I think he ended up with 4, 3 and 2. He ended up with 9 goals in 3 games. So, obviously, this man is a finisher. He's a poacher. He is clinical in front of goal. Left foot, right foot, head. It doesn't matter. He's going to put the ball into the back of the net. And this is exactly what this card is. He's a finisher. Out and out finisher. He is just like Werner, I'd say. That's, that's the sort of gameplay he plays. Werner can't really pass. He hasn't got the most amazing dribbling. But he gets the ball into the back of the net. And this is exactly what this rush card does. He puts the ball into the back of the net for you. So if you're looking for a clinical finisher, an out and out striker, maybe you're not the type who wants to go for the mess of this year. You want to try out some different cards. You want to try out some usable icons. This is definitely a usable icon. He doesn't fit the meta because his agility and balance are quite low. So sometimes he does feel slow on the turns and stuff like that. But all in all, he's a pretty fun, pretty decent goal scorer. His short passing was decent. 78, I didn't have any cons with his short passing. I mean, anything more than that isn't great. I've just done a Raul Prime review and he is nowhere near that level he's not creative whatsoever so it is a slight con on the car because when obviously he's out he gets out on the wing you know when he's up top on his own off a corner and he's done a counter attack stuff like that he's not going to be able to play the nice crosses in and stuff like that so he's very isolated when it comes to the playmaking ability now dribbling as i said agility and balance are quite low but everything else was pretty damn good to be honest and he was okay. He wasn't shit, but he wasn't great. He's not messy, but he's certainly not Ben Teke, is what I'm trying to say, lads. He's pretty decent, but he's not perfect by any means. Now, he can win headers. As you've seen, he has scored an header for me, so definitely headers are ticked off his list. He's got the stamina, so he did last all game long pretty much in every game. And he did feel quite strong sometimes, lads. So, he can hold his own against some strikers. So, that was good. Now... His finesse shot trait, brilliant, he scored a load of finesses. Power header, he scored a header with his power header. Outside the foot shot is a great trait to have as well. Now, my overall rating of the card, I've got to be honest, he didn't live up to the hype that I wanted him to. He didn't live up to the channel legend status. I'm not being biased in this review whatsoever. He was mediocre, but he's definitely usable. So if that's what you're here for, you wanted to see if he's actually usable on the game. Yes, he is. He's going to be able to score your goals, no doubt about it. Obviously, when you look at this card, 92 finishing, he's going to score your goals, lads, isn't he? He's definitely going to score your goals, as he did for me. But that's really where the main, main pros of this card die off. Everything else is pretty mediocre, to be honest, for a striker for 500,000 coins. His finishing is next level, but everything else is mid-table, middle of the barrel. So... Yes, I'd definitely give him a go. Give him a go. He's going to be a fun goal scorer for you. Definitely. He's going to score your goals. So, yeah, I'd give him a go. But I'd give him probably a 7 out of 10, lads. 7 out of 10. I mean, 500k, you can get this man, Marcus Rashford, for that in form, can't you? You can get a lot of players for 500k. And he didn't really live up to that value, I'm not going to lie. He was pretty decent, but 500k, you expect players to be next level. And he just wasn't. He was mediocre all round apart from his finishing stats. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this Rush Prime Icon review today, you know what to do for me. Just go down there and smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, just, you know, the little subscribe button down there as well. Hit that because we will be doing a lot of player reviews 
coming very, very soon. A lot of icon reviews. I do try to stick to my icons. I do love icons. You know, th that's what I enjoy. I love icons and I love flashback cards. I don't play for the meta. I'm not that type of person. Yes, obviously I've tried the meta players out, but I never have a meta team. I never have a full team. Anyway, I never keep a team for more than five minutes, mate. I always sell me players, get new ones. I just want to try out as many cards as I can for you guys as well. So, yeah, just subscribe to me if you are new around here, please. We are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, and we want to do it as soon as possible. So, your help is greatly appreciated. So, if you have enjoyed this rush review remember to smash the thumbs up button guys and i hope you all enjoy your day today thank you very much goodbye